A Spokane family is asking for your help to find this urn inside their loved one's remains. He served 25 years as a major in the Air Force and he, you know, deserves much more than what's happening. On Sunday, that woman you just heard from was moving into her in-law's home and she realized she left her grandfather's ashes in the car overnight. When she checked in the morning, those ashes were gone. Now she says she doesn't even want justice, she just wants her grandfather back. Bronte Sarotsky has this exclusive story. He was the smartest man that I know. Um, and the most loving man too. David Glenn Williams is remembered as a hero, serving in the Air Force for over 25 years. And to his family, the best father and grandfather there ever was. I mean, he was just the ideal picture perfect grandpa, to be honest, and I know it sounds cliche, but um, he just was a man of so many talents. Sadly, he passed away in 2022. When we lost him, it was extremely hard for our family. He's since been cremated and kept in an urn so he can always be near his family. Over the weekend, Margo moved into her in-law's home and brought her grandfather's ashes in her car. Margo's car was in this driveway. She was in the middle of moving and had left her grandfather's ashes in the car overnight. When she came back in the morning, she saw that the car door had been pried open and those ashes were gone. I've never physically like felt my heart break, but that's exactly what it felt like. Leaving her and her family to wonder why anyone would ever do something so cruel. Spokane police say the charge for a crime like this would be vehicle prowling, but police could also add on a felony charge for the stolen ashes. Margo says she hasn't filed a police report yet as she's been too emotional, but says she doesn't want to take legal action. She just wants her grandfather back. She and her family are urging anyone that knows where these ashes are to come forward. The urn is replaceable, but my grandpa's ashes aren't. Reporting in Spokane, Bronte Sarotsky, 4 News Now.